Guys, this is the final look of the meat. We hope you guys enjoy this video. <laughs> Papi, estamos siendo un video. Señores, este fin, mire que rico se ve este pollo. Mi papá está hablando. Mi papá no tiene educación. Nadie le ha enseñado educación, perdonen. Si le gusta esta... The pack of meat that we're gonna be doing for today i know a subscriber of ours was saying that every time she makes this it does never come out um like crispy so we're gonna pop this in the oven actually it's frozen so as you can see it was 334 we got this did we get this in walmart no we got it on our local supermarket and these are the family pack leg quarters and this was 334 so. and um somebody wanted us to do like budget friendly meals and this i think is part of a budget friendly meal just because you get so many pieces of meat you could cut these in half or leave them like this whole mm -hmm. and for 334 you could feed your okay whole you guys so this is our meat let me take one out so you can see this is what it's looking like if you can see that right there we're gonna wash all this off now what you want to do is take this piece off it usually comes off that's just extra skin you want to take that off now you can leave this whole if you wanted to eat a piece by yourself or like a man someone like me that loves to eat i will eat this whole thing by myself but since we want to make this budget friendly what we're gonna do is cut this in half so you want to take your meat and this usually is pretty hard you want to like pretty hard to, to cut off you just gotta play with it a bit see and and to make this easier for yourself you want to put the bowl right in the sink so you could just chop and drop okay hashtag chop and drop and then we're also going to be taking a knife and we're going to be poking some holes into the meat that way when we do the marinade it can seep through those holes and then the meat will be flavorful on top and inside so what we're gonna do is continue cutting these up and then we'll show okay, you okay you guys so up. here i have my meat cut up now what we're gonna take is this knife and we're gonna start making holes on the meat and the reason why we want to do this is because we want all the seasonings to penetrate in the meat and to marinate and seep it through these holes. No bland meat policy in this crib, right, Z? Nope. So, let's get to it. Okay, señores, aquí tengamos nuestra carne. Será mulo y pierna, right? Yo creo, creo que, que sí. mulo y carne. Entonces, estaba <laughs> entera, estaba entera así. Déjeme enseñarle de un pronto. Estaba así, yo la corté en mitad. Para que rinda más en estos tiempos críticos que hay mucha gente que están pidiendo video para esta temporada que no hay mucho dinero. So, lo que yo estoy haciendo es la corté en mitad y le estoy haciendo hoyo para que el sazón eh, llegue adentro de la carne también. Uh -huh, Porque uh -huh. a nosotros no nos gusta nada más el sazón por arriba y por adentro no sepa nada. Uh -huh. So, mucho hoyito haciéndole. Y ahora le vamos a poner un chin de agua y vinagre para limpiar la carne. Y después le enseñamos cómo la vamos a sazonar. So this is the vinegar that we're going to be using since we don't have no lemon or lime. So what I'm going to do is add a good amount. Este es el vinagre que voy a usar porque no tengamos limón. So le voy a echar un poco de vinagre. Y ahora le voy a echar agua. Now I'm going to add some water. And as you let this sit for like five to ten minutes, you're gonna see this water very cloudy and it's gonna be like all this residue coming out from the meat. As you can see, voy a dejar la carne por cinco o diez minutos. Te va a ver que la agua se va a poner bien clarosa y se va a poner así toda la grasa que va a botar la carne. La vamos a dejar ahí por un ratico y después la vamos a lavar. So, real quick, I'm just washing my hands. Me estoy lavando la mano bien. Y lo que vamos a hacer ahora, as you can see, all this water, we're going to drain it. Como pueden ver, esta agua la vamos a botar. Okay. That's number one. 
So you want to do this individually because like I said, it has like a greasy residue no matter what you put, how much lemon and how much vinegar you put on it, it doesn't come off. And this is our preference to do. I know a lot of people don't like to clean their meat. So if you like all that goo and gunk, then you can do that in your own home. But we choose, that's how my mom taught us how to do it from a young age. Mire como tiene toda esa grasa. Entonces que quitársela. Porque no me gusta toda esa grasa. Si ustedes no quieren quitársela, no se la tienen que quitar. Pero yo prefiero quitársela. Porque así mejor. El limón y el vinagre como que no se lo quita. Entonces me gusta quitársela yo sola. Ok, this is what the meat is looking like right now. Miren la carne, lavadita está. Y ahora vamos a dejarla aquí hasta que limpiemos el lavamano y todo. Y después yo le enseño cómo es que la vamos a sazonar. So these are the seasonings we're going to be using. Some sazón goya, pepper, salt, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika. And we have cilantro leaves and we have some oregano. Aquí tengo orégano, cilantro, cebolla, paprika, ajo, sal, pimienta. So we started off with salt. I already added on the other side. Now we're gonna add to this side. So I could talk. We're gonna vamos a echarle sal y le echamos de los dos lados porque ustedes saben que aquí hay que sazonar la carne muy bien. Esa sal se puede encontrar hasta la tienda de afeso. So what we're adding here is, if I could turn this meat around, we added some minced onion and we added some salt already. So, as you can see, minced onion. Now, cilantro flakes. Ahora cilantro. le vamos a echar cilantro. Ya le echamos cebollita en polvo. And we like to season both layers because I feel like it's necessary. Both sides. Yeah. And I wanted to say... um. Use what you have in your pantry. Don't go out to go get some, you know, paprika. If you don't have it, you don't need it. Usen lo que ustedes tengan en la casa. No tienen que ir a la tienda a comprar nada más un polvito de algo porque usen lo que ustedes tengan. This is a struggle, you guys, trying to... And I did wash my hands a lot. Now we have some garlic powder, and as you can see, I go heavy with it. Um, we love garlic powder in this house. Ahora le eche polvo en ajo y le eche mucho porque aquí nosotros nos gusta mucho el ajo. Y yo pienso que el ajo le da mucho sabor a la carne. Y si está desabría la carne y tú le echas mucho ajo, le da un sabor. Porque a veces la carne, dependiendo como, un, como uno tiene día, a veces le sale bien, a veces le falta sazón. Pero si uno le echa suficiente ajo, olvídese que le da un gusto a esa comida. Y a nosotros se nos acabó el sazón que teníamos preparado. Entonces, si tuvieran un chin de sazón, nosotros le hubiéramos hecho, echado, pero se nos gastó. Here we go with the paprika. Now, I've been obsessing with paprika lately. I feel like it gives it nice color, nice flavor to the meat. I've been using this on everything. So, we are incorporating that today here. So, let's see. Aquí le estoy echando paprika. Ya casi no me queda nada, se lo eché todo porque esto le da un sabor bueno. Now we have black pepper. Pimiento negro que nosotros le echamos. Me gusta echarle mucho porque le da un saborcito bueno también. Now this is going to be very, very flavorful. So you season it the way that you like. Some people don't like a lot of seasoning. And no, I'm not talking about it being salty. Um, it just has a lot of great flavor. Uh -huh. So, I'm going to oregano. Oregano, we add some 
here we don't have to add this to both sides so el orégano yo nada más se lo eché de un lado porque no hay que echarle tanto so and now for more color we are going to be adding sazón goya para darle más color a la carne le vamos a echar un sazón goya con cilantro con culantro y achote so look at that already you guys and it hasn't even went in the oven you see all that flavor omg now this bad boy smells amazing if you guys so, want to see another recreation of this of us using different herbs doing this type of meat um leave a comment down below and we'll do that so we are going to let this meat marinate for a couple hours before we put it in the oven once we're about to put it in the oven of course we will show you um what it looks like vamos a dejar que la carne se todos los ingredientes juntos se marinate together la vamos a poner en la nevera por un rato por dos horas o tres horas y después yo le enseño cuando yo la pongo okay, en you guys, el horno. So here's my This meat. I took some aluminum foil. I also took some oil and then just covered it. Flipped them over so that they can be coated on both sides. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit of salt on top just to give it a little bit. You know what? Actually, what I'm going to do is add the water first to make sure I added a little bit of salt in here. Just because, you know, sometimes when you cook this meat, and especially because it's so much meat, um, sometimes it's lacking a little bit of flavor. So I just want to add a little bit of salt. So aquí tengamos la carne, le puse papel de aluminio abajo, le eché un poco de aceite y la volteé de los dos lados para que te, eh, tenga aceite en los dos lados. Uh -huh. Entonces cogí un poquito de agua y le eché aquí con el sazón que había en, el, en esta cantina. Y le eché un chin de sal, se la voy a echar ahora por arriba. Para que coja más sabor. Y no se pegue abajo. Y ahora le voy a echar un poquito de sal arriba porque como es mucha carne, a veces eh, le falta sazón. Just a little bit of salt on top. And now we're just going to pop it in the oven for 350 for an hour. And then we'll show you the next step. La voy a meter en el horno a 350 por una hora. Y después se la enseño. Que okay, aquí tenemos la carne después de una hora. Mire que doradita está. Mira todo el líquido que tiene. Ahora vamos a botar el líquido. Y la vamos a voltear. Y la vamos a poner de luego a 425. 425. Y la vamos a dejar por otra hora. Here we have the meat, you guys. 350 for an hour. You can see how crispy it is. Look at all this liquid that it has. What we're gonna do is drain it. We're gonna flip it over. We're gonna put the heat up to 425 for another hour. And then we'll show you when Look it's done. Look at this, you guys. So we are done with the meat. It's all nice and crispy. I wish I could show you the other side, but I don't think I can. So I'm doing this with one hand. But Shout out to me. the subscriber that said that she... Her meat comes out soggy. Follow this recipe and you'll definitely have some good um, crunchy chicken. Miren, señores. Ya la carne está. Look at that. Both sides. Miren. Wow. Que ricura. We are about to plate up and I'll show you. When it's we hope you completely. guys enjoyed this recipe. Look at our meat. If you guys recreate it, make sure you tag us. Mire, señores, terminamos. Mire la carne que rica se ve. Si le gustó este video, denle un like. Suscríbase al canal. Gracias por ver el video.